Hello students, we will discuss here different cells having different sizes and different shapes. We all know that cell is considered as the fundamental unit of life and also it is considered as the structural and functional unit of a living body. But do all the cells are of same size or same shape? No. There are different sized cells and different shaped cells existing in the nature and also they are having different kind of functions. We will move to here different sizes of cells, different sized cells and also different shaped cells. So first moving to the size. We will only discuss here the two extreme sized cells that is the smallest cell is of the mycoplasma. The size varies between 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer. And the largest cell is that of the egg of an ostrich. Who is nearly about 6 inch. So these are two extreme sized cells of the nature. Moving to the shape. Many cells are there. Who are having fixed shape. They are not changing their shapes. But also there are certain cells whose shape is constantly changing. So there are fixed shape cells and also constantly changing shaped cells. Constantly changing shaped cells. For example, white blood cells and the amoeba. Moving to the fixed shape cells, there are many shaped cells. For example, the cubical shape that is of the cuboidal epithelium then the column shaped cells that is of the columnar epithelium then there are spindle shaped cells spindle shape is in the center it is broad and in the periphery, it is narrower, tail-like structure it is having. So, that is, this is spindle-shaped. It is the cell of a smooth muscle. Next, branched cells of cardiac muscle fiber. This is branched And this is spindle shape. Next we will move to elongated shape. This is the structure of a neuron. Neurons are the fundamental units or the fundamental cells of nervous system. They are having an elongated structure like this. Elongated shape. There are also star shaped cells. Star shaped cells. In the nervous system, star shaped cells are there. They are called as astrocytes. Star shaped. So these are few examples of different shapes of cells. Next we will move to different types of cells. We will discuss here different types of cells. I am going to divide uh, the board into two halves. In the left half we will discuss the type of cells basing on the distribution of function and in the right half we will be discussing the types of cells basing upon 
द डी एन ए एंड न्यूक्लियस सो फर्स्ट विल मूव टू द टाइप्स बेसिंग ऑन द फंक्शन देर आर मेनली थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स फर्स्ट द ऑन डिफ्रेंसिएटेड और स्टेम सेल्स ऑन डिफरेंट Now we'll discuss types of. Now we'll. <coughs> now we'll discuss different types of cells. So I'm dividing the board into two halves. In the left half, we'll be discussing the cell types based on the distribution of function. And in the right half. will discuss the types of cells basing upon the dna and nucleus so first we'll move to the cell types basing on function there are mainly three types of cells first the on differentiated cells or stem cells these cells are on differentiated that means they are on specialized they are not distributed with definite function or special type of function they are like a reserve for the body the cells are like reserve cells of the body whenever need arises then these cells the stem cells take the function of that differentiated cells and perform that specific type of function for example these are not specialized and become specialized whenever there is need for example the stem cells present in the bone marrow are on differentiated or reserve cells suppose you have met an accident and you have lost a large volume of blood so how that blood will be replaced if you have not got any blood transfusion from outside then how that lost blood will be replaced you have lost a great volume of rbc red blood cells you have lost a great volume of wbc and also platelets and other blood components so how that will be replaced in your body the bone marrow cells or the stem cells present in the bone marrow they divide repeatedly mitotically and take the function of rbc wbc and other cells of the blood that means they some stem cells they divide and redivide to become red uh, red blood cells and others uh, some other stem cells they divide to Uh, form the wbcs and some others divide to form all types of wbc and also the platelets so in this manner the lost cells is replaced and the volume of the blood is again maintained come back to original state and is maintained so stem cells present in the bone marrow are the examples of on differentiated cells then the zygote zygote which is the unicellular structure or the, or it is a single diploid cell which is formed after the end of fertilization in case of higher animals it is also acting as a stem cell why the unicellular zygote turns to complete individual complete individual so zygote undergo repeated mitotic division and a series of process to become a complete individual of 
multicellular structure and this individual is having a number of tissues they are these tissues these types of tissues they are performing specific type of functions that means this zygote differentiate into all these types of tissues to uh, perform specific type of functions that is why this is also the example of a non differentiated cell then the plant example the root apical meristem and the stem apical meristem are also the example of on differentiated cells next we'll move to the second type that is differentiated cell differentiated means function is already distributed those cells perform only specific type of function other than that they cannot perform any other type of function those are differentiated cells or specialized cells for example neurons then muscle cells epithelial cells etc they are the specialized cell performing a definite function a specific type of functions the physiological action or physiological function offered by the neurons it cannot be exhibited or performed by the muscle cells or the function of the muscle cells cannot be performed by this neurons they have already been distributed with their respective functions so those are differentiated cells moving to the third type the d differentiated cells sometimes there is need for the differentiated cells to come back and to become undifferentiated to meet the need and that process of coming back to the undifferentiated state is called as de differentiation so de differentiation is a process by virtue of which the differentiated cells come back to become undifferentiated so that process is called differentiation wound healing and regeneration in animals are due to this de differentiation process de differentiation wound healing regeneration vegetative propagation in case of plants and also cell culture tissue culture that is based on this de differentiation principle next moving to the types of cells basing upon the dna and nucleus there are a number of cells which are not having a definite nucleus and not having dna packed inside that nucleus as there is no nucleus so no packed dna inside that those type of cells are called as prokaryotic cells and some other cells are there which are having a definite nucleus with packed dna inside it those are called as eukaryotic cells so basing upon the dna and nucleus there are two types of cell prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell so pro means primitive pro means primitive and karyon means karyon means nucleus the prokaryotic cells are having primitive type of nucleus actually there is no def definite nucleus there there is a nucleus like region we'll study it later so there is no nucleus and no dna packed inside that nucleus so those cells are prokaryotic cells u means
means true and karyon means nucleus this eukaryotic cells are having true nucleus or a definite nucleus with packed dna so those are the eukaryotic cells the organism which are having prokaryotic type of cells they are called as prokaryotes and they are placed under the super kingdom prokaryota these prokaryotes are placed under the super kingdom prokaryota and eukaryotes the organisms which are having eukaryotic cells they are called as eukaryotes and these organisms are placed under the super kingdom eukaryota eukaryota generally prokaryotic uh, cells or prokaryotes prokaryotic organisms are unicellular all prokaryotes are unicellular but the organisms which are having eukaryotic cells they are unicellular as well as multicellular for example bacteria mycoplasma blue green alga these are the example of prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells are present in plants and animals so these are the types of cells